Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you what's up with these new minigames in Trove. First up, the role is offering an alternative to getting dragon coins and a lesser dragon cash, while having a little bit more fun than doing the thing you always do in Trove, which is running from dungeon to dungeon. Up to 10 people can take part at a time in these minigames and uh, the way you hop into one is by taking the red flashy portal that spawns at hub. The portal seems to be spawning randomly. I mean there doesn't seem to be a clear spawn rate for this portal. I've seen an old challenge taking place, next hour the same old challenge started and the third hour had one of these minigames. Guess you'll have to pay attention at your screen and uh, read what event is going on. There are two minigame types currently. One type wants you to race around a map and the other type wants you to collect coins. The first type, the racing one, will take you to a huge kitchen room. The effect given by this room being at this very large scale is that you feel like a really small rat. Or fly, whatever you prefer. Around this map there will be a path made out of red checkpoint circles and you're meant to fly through all of them in the shortest amount of time possible. In this same room there are some uh, time bonuses laying around. If you fly through one of these bonuses, you'll get minus 10 seconds shaved off your time. Best scenario in this minigame is you flying through all of the checkpoints in under 15 seconds. In which case you'll get all the rewards, 2 lesser dragon cash and 2 dragon coins. The other minigame type revolves around the collecting coins. The same number of people can take part in this one, meaning 10, and don't feel pressured by others, they can't get your coins. Collecting a silver coin will get you 1 point, collecting a gold one will get you 5 points. You can check the total amount of points you have at a specific time right under your compass. You have 1 minute and 30 seconds to gain as many points as you can. Also, jump ability is restricted to only 2 jumps, just like in PvP, so be careful how you choose your path. There are 4 reward stages here as well, with the best scenario is you gaining over 90 points in the time available. In which case you will get all 4 rewards, 2 dragon coins and 2 lesser dragon cash. In case you're wondering what the threshold values are for this game, collect over 30 points to get 1 reward, collect over 60 to get 2, collect over 80 points to get 3 rewards, and collect over 90 points to get the maximum amount of rewards. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now, something really cool about these minigames is that you can create your own. Go to any World Spring crafting bench and you'll notice there's a minigame stab. Hold on, Christmas dinner is coming back. Ok, I'm good. Select a portal for your desired minigame type, make sure you have the spawn point set, and if it's a race minigame you also need to have a mean of traveling selected. You can choose from boats, mag riders, mounts and wings. To test your arena without having uh, 10 people playing it, simply type slash test ctf. Well guys, hope you've been illuminated, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.